Good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Prasad Pamidi Mukhala. I'm a senior director of product management uh, here at Ex Extreme Networks. Um, it's an honor to host you here today and share just a slice of our excitement around some of the innovations we are working on here at Extreme Networks. And without uh, further ado, let's uh, jump into it. I'm going to kick it off with a brief corporate and solutions overview, and then ha I'll hand it off to Ranjan and Steve, who will provide you a deep dive into our application analytics and highlight specifically an innovation called application telemetry. It allows us to provide pervasive instrumentation throughout the network infrastructure uh, for analytics. And then Marcus will pick it up from there and uh, demonstrate how we are leveraging the same infrastructure for analytics and bringing in some machine learning uh, integrations with firewall vendors and threat feed vendors to provide both uh, threat detection as well as automated uh, threat response and remediation. Right, that should uh, close it out. Um, a quick disclaimer, we are obligated to uh, provide this uh, just for the record. As uh, part of this presentation, we may reference some forward-looking items and capabilities that uh, may eventually not make it uh, into a release product. Um, customer priorities change, market priorities change, our own priorities may change. So just for the record, uh, a standard disclaimer we include in all external facing presentations. So who is Extreme? We are a billion dollar company. We have, uh, we're on a run rate to do over a billion dollars this uh, fiscal year. So we are a very significant, a significant player in the networking industry. We were founded back in 1996. As a matter of fact, yesterday was the 20th anniversary of our listing on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. So a team from Extreme, our board of directors, and some select customers were in New York City yesterday uh, to uh, ring the opening bell at NASDAQ. It was a pretty cool experience. I watched it on uh, live streaming. Um, so, you know, very exciting times. Back in the day when networking vendors used to do their own ASICs, Extreme's uh, claim to fame was that we brought out the first gigabit Ethernet switch to market, as well as the first 10 gigi switch to market. Now, you know, people go with uh, Merchant Silicon, but, uh, you know, this was uh, back in the uh, early to mid-90s. We have a growing customer base, uh, 30,000 and growing, over 6,000 partners, and uh, we are headquartered right uh, here in San Jose with over 3,000 uh, employees worldwide. Here's a who's who of uh, our customers, you know, very prominent logos. Uh, these are customers that have entrusted their business critical applications and mission critical applications uh, to our networks. And some of these uh, customers were also um, at the NASDAQ bell ringing ceremony yesterday. And I'll give you some use cases and why these customers like our solutions and the kind of compelling business outcomes that derive uh, from our network solutions. Even though we highlighted some um, verticals here, our solutions are in general horizontal, but there are certain features and capabilities that are particularly attractive to certain verticals. And when I talk about the use cases, uh, you'll be able to see what I mean. So Extreme today is a confluence of several companies that came together over time. Um, if you um, are familiar with the names of Synaptics, Wellfleet, Bay Networks, Nortel, uh, they all are part of Extreme Networks. Similarly, Symbol, uh, Motorola, Zebra, we have uh, Foundry, Brocade, Enterasys, Cabletron. All these companies have, in some shape or form, uh, become part of Extreme Networks. And each of these vendors had strength in certain part of the network, certain place in the network. We're bringing those strengths forward and those portfolios together in the form of three solution pillars. Um, in the edge of the network, campus, as well as data center. Give me a second to get a drink of water. <clears throat> so 
these three solution pillars are wrapped with uh, a set of applications, support, and services to help our customers along their digital transformation journey. And again, we have strength in certain verticals, but we do sell and play in other verticals as well. So let me talk briefly about each of these uh, solution pillars. Our smarter OmniEdge includes um, edge switching, wireless, and IoT solutions. And instead of talking about features and capabilities and so on, let me describe two customer use cases. So if you go talk to any uh, Wi-Fi admin, uh, they'll tell you that uh, up to 40% of their time is spent in troubleshooting RF issues, uh, radio frequency uh, interference issues, and fine-tuning radios to improve user experience. We have an offering called Xtreme AI. It's a cloud-based solution that constantly monitors your RF environment and automatically tunes your radios to deliver the best user experience. And not only are we improving the end user experience, but we are in the process also improving the quality of life of the poor Wi-Fi admin. So this is the kind of business outcome we are talking about. Similarly, and it, it doesn't always have to be about technology and, peop, uh, and products. We have some people also that make a difference in our customers' lives. One of the largest uh, uh, transportation and logistics uh, customer, they were looking for a way to reduce the time between when a plane touches down on the runway and the time it comes and docks near the gate. Because as it nears the gate, the onboard systems on the plane establish connections with the ground systems and they're exchanging information around the packages that are on the plane and uh, you know, what packages need to be sorted where, et cetera, et cetera. So they, the, the faster the plane can get to the gate, the more efficient their operations are. So one of our engineers, more creative ones, who uh, was working with the customer, uh, came up with a pretty creative idea. So he couldn't do anything about the runway or the length of the runway and so on, but what he did was he actually took an access point, uh, made it uh, you know, uh, powered by batteries, mounted it and slapped it onto a drone and actually flew it so to meet the plane as it was taxiing towards the gate. So, and then of course there's a mesh connection back to the uh, wireless access point near the gate. The, the end result was that the couple of minutes that it took for the plane to actually get to the gate, there were transactions happening between the onboard system <coughs> and the systems at the gate. And every second that we can shave off this time, adds up to millions of dollars for this particular customer. So that was an innovation, it was a proof of concept. Now there are certain regulations around drones flying uh, near airplanes and so on. So they'll figure out a way to turn that into a reality, right? We're also the official Wi-Fi provider for the NFL and also uh, official analytics provider for Super Bowls. And there are specific capabilities that we have in our portfolio to help these customers. Our automated campus includes campus core and aggregation switching, and it's powered by Fabric Connect technology. Uh, some of you may have already heard about our Fabric Connect uh, technology based on shortest path bridging uh, from prior networking field days. But there are two aspects of that uh, solution that are compelling to our customers. It's around secure hypersegmentation and what we call service elasticity. And let me give you a customer example to illustrate these points and bring them to life. One of the largest auto manufacturers in the world, they're a customer, and um, what we learned was whenever they roll out a new car model, they establish an um, assembly line, and for the first two months during that rollout, they're constantly fine-tuning that assembly line. And if you can imagine, at each stage, they have different machines and robots working on the car. And um, initially, they'll probably estimate that this particular stage is going to take four minutes. So they'll have a machine uh, ready to go there. And sometimes it takes longer. So they end up moving the entire chain of machines downstream. And sometimes if, they, if it actually takes less time, they'll have to move all those back forward. So, during this two months, they actually have a network engineer on the sh uh, shop floor or on call. 
because every time they make a change, because all these machines are connected machines, they're IoT devices, uh, the port has to be reconfigured and uh, the VLANs have to be reconfigured and so on because they're very secure environments, they have uh, strict segmentation rules and so on. When they deployed our automated campus solution, we have a construct called ASAP, any service, any port. None of our ports are pre-configured, they're all the same. You can plug any device, any user into any port in the network. And it's the device or the user identity that actually determines the configuration of the port and the provisioning of the rest of the network end to end. So in the case of this auto manufacturer, they can plug in any of their machines anywhere in the network and the network self provisions itself and extends the right services that were authorized for that device or user to that point of access. So that kind of flexibility shaved off 50% of the network admin's time. This was according to the customer. So what you see here is a network adapting to the business needs as opposed to the business working around the limitations of the network. So that kind of, that's a compelling outcome that uh, we're able to deliver with our automated campus solution. And the same hyper-segmentation and the flexibility and the dynamic configuration of the ports is also um, highly regarded in the healthcare industry where they're able to comply with regulations based on this technology. And added to this, we have a little device called Defender for IoT, which is just a credit card size device. You can plug in any medical device to it and the other end plugs into the network, sort of a bump in the wire setup and it secures that particular medical device from any kind of malicious attacks. Our healthcare customers love it. And that technology can work over any vendor's network. It doesn't have to be just Extreme's network. Moving on to the third solution pillar, it's uh, what we call um, Agile Data Center. Yes, we have a range of offerings for different uh, markets we service, um, campus data centers, uh, regional service providers, uh, you know, tier one, tier two service providers, cloud exchanges, and so on. But what's really of value to our customers is around the applications that provide visibility into the network, automation to speed up operations, and so on. You'll see examples of visibility throughout the rest of the session, but let me give you one customer uh, use case and the kind of compelling business outcome they got out of our solution. This is a very recent example. Very large customer, whenever they need to uh, bring, bring online a new server, it apparently takes up to 10 days because it involves multiple teams and multiple tools that they use to provision that server before it's uh, brought online. They do various penetration testings, get the IP ad uh, right IP addresses and so on and so forth. The type of tools they use are Slack, Splunk, uh, Infoblox, and rapid seven for penetration testing. So what uh, we did, we worked with the customer and took their human workflows and automated them. We were using the same tools. We integrated with uh, Splunk, we integrated with uh, Slack, rapid seven, et cetera. And we were able to bring those, the 10 day time that it takes to bring online a server down to four minutes. Let me repeat that. So it could take up to 10 days. We were actually able to bring it down to four minutes. We kept the same workflows, just automated them. We used the same tools that the customer was using and were able to streamline the operations because we remove any kind of human error and use automation tools like our Extreme Workflow Composer, which is based on Stackstorm. Again, a very compelling business outcome that's tangible and measurable for that customer. Here are some uh, relevant industry trends we are tracking and investing in uh, to help our customers. You'll see elements of these trends and technologies manifest themselves in the rest of the session uh, during the discussions and uh, demonstrations, uh, specifically around how we are tackling cyber threats, using pervasive analytics and automation to automatically detect threats and also remediate the threats. Here's a view of our portfolio. We have a rich set of applications, but you, know, you also need hardware to build networks. 
So we have a full portfolio of uh, wireless access points, edge switches, campus core, campus aggregation switches, as well as uh, data center switching and routing. Um, there's only one other vendor on this planet who has this type of breadth of portfolio, but I'd like to say that uh, we do it better. <laughs>